Okay, so this is for exercise um, 8D. Some of you are asking for a little bit more help with question 6. So here we go. So we're going to have to do A, D and G and feel free to go and do some of the others if you want a little bit more practice. Okay, so when we look at the first one, need my highlighter there, we first want to see what are or where are our right angle triangles. We want to find X, we're going to do that first. So the two lengths that make up my right angle are 2 and 1. Okay, so what we should do is always write, I like to write the rule down every single time, so A squared plus B squared equals C squared and because the two lengths that make up my right angle are 2 and 1 that becomes 2 squared plus 1 squared equals X squared. So we can work that out in our calculator 2 squared is 4 plus 1 is 1 so we end up with 5 equals X squared and therefore X equals root 5. Now I could write that as a decimal but because I'm going to use this again to find my y value, I'm going to try and keep it as an exact answer. So I'm going to leave it as root 5. Okay, so now we're going to try and find out what y is. Now, this time the two lengths that make up my right angle are the 1 and the root 5. So now we will say once again a squared plus b squared equals c squared but because the two lengths that make up my right angle are 1 so that's 1 squared plus root 5 squared equals y squared okay and 1 squared we know is 1 root 5 squared is just 5 and therefore y will be root 6 units okay now you can use your calculator and get those decimal answers if you want the great part though is hopefully you have used this exact answer of root 5 when you're calculating another um, value. So try and use exact whenever you possibly can. Okay, let's go on to D. So we want to find X and we want to find Y. Now obviously we haven't got enough information to find Y, so let's start with X. What do we know? So put in as much information as you can. So if this is 5 here, we know that uh, down here must be 5 as well and we know the whole length is 9 so if we've already used up the 5 here then that has to be 4. So we're going to try and focus on this triangle there well I mean we now know that x is 4 okay how does that help me find y well on that triangle right I hope you agree that if this is y, then so is this. So now when we're working out our triangle, we've got y, we've got 7, and we've got 4. Here's another tip. Sometimes you might want to just focus and draw the triangle that you are um, focusing on, looking at, and get rid of all the other white noise. Okay, so where is our right angle? What are the two lengths that make up our right angle? it's going to be this one and this one. Okay, so the y and the 4. So now when we pop that into our Pythagoras' formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, it's y squared plus 4 squared equals 7 squared. So therefore, y squared is going to be 7 squared. How do I get rid of a plus 4 squared? Look at those examples if you've forgotten. We have to subtract. The opposite of adding is subtracting and we're nearly there. We don't want y squared, we just want y. So we are going to square root. 7 squared is 49, 4 squared is 16. So we end up with y is the square root of 33 and if we use our calculator we know that that's 5.74. Okay, and one more to finish off. Um, we want to find x here. So if you're just looking at that triangle, we have not got enough information. So that means we have to find this length first. So we're going to try for y. And once again, let's look to where our um, right angle is. It's the two lengths that make up your right angle. We've got 2 and 5. So that's going to be a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 
it's going to be 2 squared plus 5 squared equals the y squared. Now you know what to do by now. We're just going to work out the left hand side. That equals y squared. How do I get rid of the squared? You square root. So pause the video and you work that out yourself. That equals root 29. So once again, like we did before, we're not going to go to our calculator for this. We're going to leave it as an exact answer. And now when we are looking at that second triangle, right, we've got, I'm just going to draw that out so we haven't got all the other riffraff there. That's 4. That's y. Here's my right angle and here's root 29. Okay, what are our two lengths that make up our right angle? Here and here. So a squared plus b squared. Again, you should have, you probably stopped the video by now or just tuned me out because you know what's going to happen next. The two lengths that make up your right angle are y and 4 or 4 and y. So it's y squared plus 4 squared equals root 29 squared. And again, when you work that out, root 29 squared, the root and the squared cancel each other out. So we end up with y squared plus 4 squared just equals 29. We've done one of these questions before. It was right up here in the white. How do I get rid of a plus 4 squared? We're going to subtract 4 squared. And how do I get rid of the squared? We square root. Let's move that up a bit. Okay, so 29 take 16, and we end up with the answer of root 13. And again, you can leave it as root 13, or you can get your decimal answer. So hopefully that helps you do these questions from question 6. And you might want to go and do, I know I just said do uh, these three, but maybe go and pick out another one or two and try them.